I would hate to see you take your ride out on a Saturday behind somebody like that or that you just don't have gas money. So you have to pull into a gas station and start begging people for gas money. No, I don't want to see that. But what I do want to see is that you go to Cars and Coffee Sulphur Springs Saturday mornings, like March 30th. Yes, every last Saturday morning, 9 to 11. And this is hosted by, well, Cars and Coffee Sulphur Springs, created by Scott Singleton. There are always wonderful people who are ready to say hello and talk cars, weather, politics, whatever you want to talk about. But they are all really great people, really fun cars to look at and things to learn and talk about. Yes, downtown Sulphur Springs. There it is in the background. And it is very easy to find this place. Take any car you want. Your little economy car, like these Corvettes. Or maybe something not quite so economical, like this really cool old car here. Take anything you want. Maybe a race car. Just smile and have a great day with us. Welcome to Road Odyssey. Thank you for joining me. And if you like the videos that I provide, please subscribe. Remember, I have my Facebook page. Join me there anytime you wish. Yep, Saturday morning, very last Saturday of each month, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., you'll see really interesting cars like this Studebaker truck, uh, this Morgan, a Cobra, really nice Cobra, so, you know, people come in from all over. These JDM cars came in from Mount Pleasant. And that's just one of the many groups. There are people from the Corvette Club that come out. And a lot of cool Mustang people like Russell Gray with his Mach 1 from Greenville. So there's a lot of us that just come from these outlier cities and visit this car meet. It's a great parking lot. It's a really good space, and it's easy to get to. Downtown Sulphur Springs, southeast corner is where this big church is located. And, of course, this meet is run by here, Scott Singleton. And I'm getting ready to show you more pictures from the end of February where there were over 50 cars. Scott believes he had counted somewhere in the 60s. So, yeah, a lot of cars come out to this car meet. But getting back to the parking lot with all these wonderful people, uh, getting into this parking lot, it's best for cars that are higher up off the ground. If you have a car that's low, yes, you can still get into it at an angle. But what I do is I come in from the north side. There's the north side street off the square, and it goes down to another parking area. And you can pull in to those entrances and then come back to this back parking lot. So there's an alternative for you if you want to come out to this meet and you have a low car and you're a little worried about getting into it. There is a way. So just buzz around to the north side and you'll find the other entrances. But all kinds of stories. There's stories about this uh, Model T pickup truck. You need to talk to Randy. There's stories about this car. Talk to uh, Paul. All of these cars have stories and they're just fun. And there's a lot of things that you can learn. If you're in the middle of a car build, talk to the people. Where did they find their cars? What are they doing? Like this VW, he's been in the middle of a build for quite a while. Um, just all kinds of neat things to do and discuss. Now, things to do. There is another car meet that typically comes right after this car meet. Here again, end of the month, the last Saturday and this is 9 to 11. So right after this, in Cumbie, Texas, which is just down the highway, a lot of people will caravan, either in small groups or big groups, out to Cumbie 
and I believe that is Cops and Coffee, and the host of that is the police chief of Cumbie. Uh, his name's Jeff, really cool guy. He has a dragster called Blue Thunder, uh, really neat dragster. Seen him out on the drag strip even, but these are all unique, interesting people. I would really encourage you, especially if you're from the Mount Pleasant area or Emory, you know, Paris, Texas, all over the place. Just come on out to this thing and join us and have a great time. It would really be cool to see and meet you, uh, meet other organizers of other car groups and just have a fantastic day. Now, there's not a lot of protection from the different variations in weather, and you might want to bring your own lawn chair. Uh, when it's cold out, a lot of people bring blankets. Uh, if it's a little bit rainy, they don't really care. Uh, we bring umbrellas or whatever, you know, just in case it starts raining on us. But, uh, yeah, rain or shine, pretty much everybody meets. So it's just a really relaxing car meet. So, you know, I've been babbling enough. Oh, and this car has a story, too. Been in two B movies. So that's Darren. Like I said, there's just stories galore. You just really need to talk to these people and get to know them and have some fun. And just remember, there's a whole network of car meets. Now, I used to keep a schedule. I have handed the schedule of all of these meets off to Jim Higgy. He has also in Sulphur Springs, uh, the Seth Co. of Sulphur Springs, Texas. And out there on the highway in 19, he has started up car meets at his gas station. But he has my schedule now, so if you need a schedule of all these meets, go out to Sefco, Sulphur Springs, Texas, and you'll be able to find that schedule. So, anywho, let's play a little bit of music while we finish this thing out. Hope to see you around the corner. Have a fantastic day. And remember, please like and subscribe. And with that, relax, take it easy, and I will see you later. Hope you enjoy your car. And it, hey, you know what? If you don't have a car, just come on out anyway. Who cares? Come out and talk to people and have a good time. And I will see you later. Bye.